when people think about Vegas, they think of glamour and glitz and all that kind of stuff. But if you live here, you don't really think about that. It's just a normal town. When you come here to vacation and you're single, basically you don't eat, you don't sleep, you party, and you leave here dead. Women can't play poker. Jennifer could play poker. All the rest of them just think they could play poker. When you compare her to other females, it, you, you're looking at like Jennifer Harmon and then the rest. There really is only one successful high limit cash game player um, as well as, as tournament player, and that's Jennifer. Jennifer is, uh, is the best woman poker player in the world, bar none. Wow, you know, this girl can really play. I grew up in Reno. I spent most of my life there. Uh, my mom used to teach me card games when I was five or six. She played a lot of cards. She loved to gamble. But when I get started in, any, in anything, it's always like, I'm going to shoot for the moon. Well, I met Jennifer in about 1997, 1998. We became really good friends. Um, pretty much best friends. Jennifer is simply respected as a poker player. When I thought I was a professional was when I was making money at it and I didn't have a job. Never did I ever think that I would be a poker player. I've just seen someone that was a talented and very accomplished limit hold'em player turn into a very talented and accomplished all-around poker player. That's not a small change. Most women poker players don't don't have enough to put all their chips in with the with the money on the line. Jennifer has balls. She's capable of doing it. She actually taught me a lot about the game. She's so well-rounded. She plays in the biggest games in the world with the, some of the best players in the world. There's no game that she has a weakness in. She's confident in her abilities in all the different games, and she's hard to read. A lot of people are very confused by her because, I mean, you see this little timid little blonde girl and think, wow, I mean, she doesn't know what she's doing. People have described my look, and they say that I'm like, I, my face shows so much emotion. You know, she wears her emotions on her sleeve sometimes, other times she's more reserved. You know, a lot of people have been interviewed about reading me and they say that I'm difficult to read. She's, she's got that chameleon-like effect. You can't pinpoint exactly what her style is. I feel I'm easy to read. I feel like I play straightforward poker and everybody tells me I don't. I think in, in a lot of ways, it's an advantage being a female because men will make foolish mistakes against women. Either A, because they're attracted to them and want to impress them, or B, they don't respect them. As a woman, there's so many extra tools you can exploit. You can either throw a smile, you know, at a guy at a certain time. I don't flirt with players to try to get an edge. I don't, like, bat my eyes at them. You know, take advantage of the fact that he's trying to bluff you all the time and bully you. Usually when a player plays me for the first time and doesn't know who I am, will try to bluff their chips off to me. And then all I have to do is call them once and then that's it. Sometimes you see some of those older gentlemen from the South have a general disdain for women being there, feeling as though this is not a place, it's not a proper place for a woman. I think, you know, the male species is more aggressive than the female species. They feel like they can dominate you by, your, by their chips. Women get, you know, probably a little bit more slack. I mean, men will say things to me that they won't say to other men. So I don't take it personally, it just goes, right off my shoulders. What's more important to me is the game. We're no longer playing poker in smoke-filled back rooms and pool halls and pubs. This is a respectable game, and I think adding the women to the mix will give poker even more mainstream acceptance. I feel poker should be played, men or women. I don't think it's a sexist game. A lot of people do, but I don't. We play so high that there's only a few players that actually play that high. It's probably more than 15, it's probably a total of 25 that play that high. You gotta be willing to shove it all in with nothing to win these tournaments. And there aren't too many players that have the money to play that or that have the guts to get in those games. Most women poker players don't don't have enough to put all their chips in with the, with the money on the line. So, you know, you have players that move up, move up, move up, but there's only a few that get through to that level. But the truth of the matter is, is uh, you really, to be a real successful poker player in No Limit Hold'em, you gotta have huge, huge cojones. It's more about the competition. But when you get in the top three, it's more about winning it. You win it, and you don't even really think about the money. I'm sure there are people that do, but while you're winning it, you just want to win it. It's like that competitive 
street that goes through you. You know, you're always adjusting in poker, and that's what poker's about. You're always trying to trick your opponents in a new age now. I mean, a lot more players, so it's harder to win one. But again, you have to adjust to it. There's only one time that I think that I was intimidated, but not because it's a man's world, but is when I first sat down with Doyle. And it was bizarre because I, you know, I'm already nervous because I'm playing against Doyle. I really want him to think that I'm a good player, and I just have all these tough decisions. My life is great. I can't complain. I mean, how good can it get? No alarm clock. I get to do what I want, when I want. I'm doing a job that I love. It's a great life. I can travel to these tournaments or I don't have to. I get to make every decision in my life. I have total control. I get to write the script. And what's better than that? I hope the game in five years from now is, uh, well, I hope I'm the biggest star on the tour in five years, so, uh, you know, and I hope Jennifer is right behind me. I want to see myself as still one of the most successful poker players around. Of course, to win the World Series of Poker, but who doesn't want that goal? <laughs> to be happy in life, to still be positive, and to live life to the fullest like I do now. That's how I see myself in five years. <laughs>